Hi everyone, welcome back to another video in the Web Security Academy series. In today's video, we'll be covering lab number two in the authentication module titled 2FA Simple Bypass. All right, before we continue with the video, I'd like to announce that this video is part of a course that I offer on my academy. Now you might be wondering, why would I buy a course that is made available for free on YouTube? Well, there are four reasons why you might want to do that. Number one is that you gain early access to recorded material. As soon as I record new videos, I make them available through my course right away. Whereas on YouTube, they'll only be released on a weekly schedule. Reason number two is that you gain access to a Discord channel where you can ask questions. The Discord channel is divided into topics that we cover in the course, and if you run into any issues, you get to ask questions about anything related to the course material. Reason number three is that you no longer have to deal with YouTube ads or sponsor messages. And last but not least, reason number four is you get to support me. Any revenue generated from this course will go back into maintaining the academy and creating more videos and courses that will be made available for free on my YouTube channel. So if you're interested in buying the course, make sure to check out the link in the description. And that is it. Let's go back to our video. If you do not have an account on the Web Security Academy, you can get one by visiting the URL portswigger.net slash web security and clicking on the sign up button. I already have an account and I am logged in. So to access the exercise, I'm going to click on Academy. Select all labs. And then do a search on the authentication module and select lab number two titled 2FA Simple Bypass. All right, let's get started. This lab's two-factor authentication can be bypassed. You have already obtained a valid username and password, but do not have access to the user's 2FA verification code. To solve the lab, access Carlos's account page. And you've got your credentials and the victim's credentials. All right, so the target goal over here is that you're assuming that, let's say through a password dump, you gained access to a valid username and password, which is the username and password of Carlos. And now you try to access Carlos's account and you could see that there that Carlos has 2FA enabled. And so you need to find a vulnerability in the application that allows you to bypass the 2FA verification and access Carlos's account. Okay, let's access the lab. Now notice over here, this is the built-in browser in Burp, and so all my requests are already being passed in my Burp proxy. Okay, so the first thing that we're gonna do is log in with the regular account that we were given and see how the 2FA check is implemented. So this is our regular account and the password was Peter, hit login. Now you could see over here, it makes a get request to a login to page. And it tells you that it sent you a four digit security code and that's all done in the back end. Now let's click on the email client and see if we got the 2FA code. And you could see over here, we did. The code is right over here. So let's copy that. Put it in here and hit login. And when you do that, it makes a post request to log in to. So let's send this to repeater. And it allows you to log into the account. All right, so if we look at the post request over here, you could see the MFA code is written right over here and it's to this endpoint over here. So before I try to brute force this MFA code because four digits is not nearly enough and I don't know if they have any brute force protection over here. But before I do that, the first thing that you could check is see if it actually enforces that it needs a 2FA check. So what you could do is log out. Go to my account and set intercept to on and then log in with our victim's credentials. So the password was this right over here. Hit login. Now the request is sent in burp, hit forward. Now it, when it makes a request to the 2FA verification, all I'm gonna do is drop the request 
and then see if it allows me to still log into the user's account. So if it doesn't enforce this endpoint, then uh, we could bypass 2FA verification altogether and log in using only the username and password. And here we go. So you could see over here, there's a flaw in the application that doesn't uh, enforce the 2FA endpoint. And so you don't actually need a second factor in order to log into a user's account. All right, so we successfully completed the exercise by exploiting the vulnerability manually. Now let's script it in Python. Okay, so the first thing that we're gonna do is import all the libraries that we need. So the request library, the sys library, and the URL lib3 library. Next, we're going to disable insecure request warnings. So disable warnings url lib3 dot exceptions dot insecure request warning and then we're going to set our proxy setting because we want all of our requests to be sent to burp just in case we need to debug our script so all of the http traffic should be sent to HTTP 127.0.0.1 port 8080, that's where burp is running. Same goes for all HTTPS traffic, it should be sent to HTTP 127.0.0.1 port 8080. And then we'll define our main method, so if name is equal to equal to main then call the main method and we'll define the main method right over here so if the length of the command line arguments is not equal to 2 then print the usage instructions and the example instructions so usage name of the program and the URL of the application and the name of the program we take from the command line argument. We also print the example instructions, name of the program, and the example instructions is www.example.com. So that's just an example URL and the name of the program we also get from the command line argument. And then we exit the program because the user ran it incorrectly. Now let's assume the user did run it correctly. Then we'll first initiate our sessions object. So requests.session. And then we'll create a variable called URL and we'll take that from the command line argument. And then we'll call a function called access Carlos account and that takes in the session object and the url and of course this is a custom function which we'll define right over here so we'll say def access carlos account takes in the session object and the url the first thing that we need to do is uh, log into carlos's account so log into carlos's account we'll add that comment and then we'll print on the screen logging into Carlos's account and bypassing 2FA verification. And to do that, we need the login URL. So that would be the URL plus the endpoint to login. So if you go to HTTP history, it was this request right over here. So this is the endpoint to login slash login. Let's put that in here. And then we need the form data that this login request takes. So login data is equal to this data right over here. So just the username and password, there's no CSRF tokens. So we'll copy that and then we'll put it in the correct format.
Okay, this looks good. Next, we just perform the request. So r is equal to s.post. It takes in the login URL. Data is equal to the login data. Verify is equal to false because we don't want to verify TLS certificates and proxies is equal to proxies because we want the request to be sent to burp. Now we need to include one more attribute over here called allow redirects. And we're going to set that to false. And the idea over here is that when you log in, it automatically redirects you to the slash login to endpoint, which is responsible for 2FA. And just like we dropped it in the proxy in intercept, what we're going to do is we're going to drop it in our script. And the thing that allows us to drop it in our script is setting this flag to false. All right, the next step is to confirm the bypass. So we're going to add a comment saying confirm bypass. And to do that, we need to visit the my accounts page. So we're going to say my account URL is equal to URL plus the path to the my account page, which is just slash my account. And that's equal to R and that would be R is equal to s dot get my account url set verify to be equal to false and proxies to be equal to proxies now when we visit that page if we see the logout string so if logout is in the response of the request then we print successfully bypassed 2fa verification Otherwise, we'll print the exploit failed and we'll exit the program. All right, so the idea over here is we need to see logout to confirm that we properly logged into Carlos's account. And if we don't, we'll print exploit failed and we'll exit the program. Let's save the script. And before we run it, this probably timed out. So we'll just access the lab again. And then go to terminal, new terminal. Python 3, and then the name of the script. And the URL of the application. Let's copy that. Put that in here. Remove the trailing slash and hit enter. And so far so good and here we go it says congratulations you solved the lab all right so we successfully completed the exercise by exploiting the vulnerability manually and then scripting it in python in the next lab we'll look at another case of an authentication vulnerability if you like the video hit the subscribe and share button so that the video reaches a wider audience also make sure to check out my course if you're interested in seeing more videos like this one thank you and see you in the next video